Hello everybody, welcome back to Banish. We have continued on our quest towards that 2000 mark and we have all sorts of land filled with farms and orchards and everything else now. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to continue that trend, trying to get all this area filled in because I want to maximize productivity. And with down here, I would like to get as many deer as I can and all this naturalized area. I want to be able to use it for um, wildlife and see if we still have any deer whatsoever. Up here, I don't see a whole lot running around. Oh, there's some right there. So it seems like they come out of where these streams are. Even if it's kind of somewhat populated, they'll, they'll come out where these streams are and your hunters can snag them. Let's just kind of wander, meander out this way. That's what it looks like, but <clears throat> okay. So let's make sure we are full up on all of our professions here. Most of them, we need two more fishermen, so I'm going to go and maximize that. All right, and then we got these cattle, or these herd, uh, yeah. Pastures, that's what, that's what the word I'm look, looking for. It's a tough one. Oh, the, the pasture. Yep. Pastures. Got those pastures done. And we'll build a road of sorts around this mountain. Oh, that mountain is ugly. That mountain's a big bully. Okay. Got that going down, got that going down and around, get that capped off there. And uh, we want to build a few houses out here for our herdsmen. We're going to have a few herdsmen actually handling these cattle ranches. Yes, you heard me. They're going to be cattle ranches. and get this. Oh no. Can't line it out there, huh? Oh well. Tried. Tried my best. Someone died in the cave-in. Holy crap. What are we low on? Firewood? Oh, firewood, yeah. Well, firewood. Yeah, that's, that's to be expected. Um, so what we can actually do is get a barn and everything set up down here for um, a woodcutter doesn't actually need the barn but he will need the stockpile that I always put by the barns because I like it that way and if you don't like that then shut up I don't care see this here that there and then we need a stockpile then throw down a stockpile or two one big big old stockpile right there I'll tell you what all right got that stockpile and a home for our cutter, maybe, potentially, <clears throat> maybe potentially get this place lined out to be a, a little bustling metropolis, but um, we'll see. I could probably get a market in right there. That looks like a good spot for a market, to be honest. That will help with some supplies, and then... Let's go ahead and look at what we want to do. So, I need more herdsmen if I'm going to get these guys going up. And that's going to be six more. So, try and get, get these six going. We want these to all be cattle, is what we're doing. Cattle. And, nope, not chickens, cattle. So, this will take a little bit before we actually get all the cattle we need. Oh, we got another ailsman. So, let's, uh,. We're gonna do peaches, beach down here. That's what we want, peach ale. So we're gonna make that peach. Man, someone else crushed by a rock. That's ridiculous. These rocks are dangerous, my friend. Rocks are very dangerous. You smash people without a single thought. Make that too as well. Two more foresters. Fisherman went up by eight. Six, so, oh, another. Okay, got it. Six. Went up by six. Ha ha ha! Ah, Okay. So, got plenty of fishermen along the along the river here. All this stuff is going to the market, to the, to the barn there. 
capped out on wood. Make these two gatherers, make these two hunters. Drop this by 10 to fill those other positions because I think those are more important right now than the mining. So two, six more, and two more gatherers. And that should be pretty sufficient on uh, housing, food. Let's see, everything else looks pretty good. I got my herdsmen up. Homes from the path in front of them. Now let's look at what we want to do next. Cattle. Okay, that's what I was. I was like, what am I doing with those farms? Cattle. So we want to split this. And these cows are gonna run to another farm here. One of these ones here. And here they go. I'm not sure which one they're running to, but it looks like oh, they're going here. So this one down here. You start seeing these cow running through the field. And so that's nine out of twenty. And I don't want to empty it. I want to uh, keep it as it is. So I'm gonna let both of those <coughs> grow to full extent, and then we'll split them one more time, and they'll go into both of these cattle ranches here. So these guys aren't necessarily doing a whole lot, but they are acting and pretending busy. They like to have a chore. They like to feel important, okay? Don't don't bother them. Let's see. Get our schoolhouse. So we will need another one. We're spreading into areas like this. Uh, let's wait. Let's wait on all that. Let's make sure we're we're good and settled. Um, <clears throat> we do want to expand north. So this would be a good time for me to look at getting this all done. That tunnel is done there. Look at that. It's so weird looking because they can use it like a normal tunnel, but it's all goofy, goof -obbed up. Um, how about this guy here? Can I get a tunnel from? Yeah, that that one will actually look normal. Um, and then from here, I want the pathway to go there. Okay, looks great. All right, so we're at 55,000 food. We are doing fantastic on the food department. What we need to get now is firewood under control. Once we get our firewood under control, then I think we'll be doing okay. Okay, so these pear orchards have been cut. They look great. These peach orchards are cut and looking good. Our walnut is doing fine. And then we're gonna have cherry orchards in a couple of years here. So I think as far as what that stuff is saying, we're looking good. Doing fantastic there. Okay. This is all gonna be farms and houses. This is all gonna be this is gonna be a naturalized area. So once I actually get this um let's go on. I'm gonna put a hunting cabin. Forester's lodge. Maybe I'll just leave this whole bottom area naturalized because of the fact that um these guys will need to use these areas for deer and whatever else we have here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this herbalist right down here at the corner. Need a wood cut. Oh, we've got a woodcutter coming up right there. Some moss food. So we want a hunting cabin. This one will fit right in that nook and cranny. And then a gatherer's hut. And this one can fit right there. Then some homes for these guys. One there looks fine. Uh, one there looks fine. I don't need anything back here. As much of that space for uh, those guys as I can. Maybe put a, a wheat farm for aesthetic look here. Make it look like people are doing something along this, this area here. Another farm right next to or a house right next to it. Can make a Oh no, my professions menu went away. Okay, we got 22 extra laborers, so that's nice. We're gonna make this uh, corn. This, uh, seems like a, a normal thing for people to grow down here. And I want another cattle ranch if I can make a 19. Oh, 20 by 20 is just out of my reach. Oh my gosh, I can do a 19 by 20. So I'll do that. Because of the, the river, I was not able to uh, actually fully make a 
pathway that extends all the way around, and then we can do some farms in there. Crop fields here, eight by eight, eight by eight. Make those also corn. Cows are awfully noisy, man. They just kind of get annoying to sit around. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, let's see. Schoolhouse, hospital, um, potentially another chapel down here, being that we are expanding and we're going to have a lot more folks in this area. And then we can do a small gravesite behind it. Um, let's see how much area we can actually cover here. We can do a 10 by 18. That's pretty good to me. Okay, and then we can do a path runs all the way back here. And that will kind of give us our main stuff that we need along this area here. Let's see, we can drop that down one, pop that up one, make this corn as well. And then I do want to make a huge pepper field. I love having me some peppers. Have me some peppers! 30. Um, how are our stone mines doing? That's a good that's a good question. How are our quarries doing? Because we 43%, 34%. So we will want to find another area that we're actually gonna build up a stone mine. And we have all this space. Maybe very tippy top. No. Yeah. I mean that that looks like it could be a good stone mine mining area. We got this mountain we can put mines on. We can put our stone quarry right in here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's look into that, huh? Let's look into that, shall we? Let's run this path up and over if we can. Can I make a bridge? Yes, I can. <clears throat> now, if I do set this up, it's going to be a whole entire other development for these guys. I mean, I'm, I'm going to need something up here, so I'll probably want to mark it nearby so having a market would be a, a good idea let's see let's look at what these guys would require so if I have two quarries I have a path I can run. let's let's wait till this path and this bridge are done before I start heading down that way otherwise we're gonna just run into trouble I don't want to do that people will start starving as they run out there to try and build stuff and they have to go a long way around and it just becomes a mess not worth messing with. Okay. So I can go ahead and split that pasture. And I'm going to go ahead and split this one because they should be pretty close to the same. Alright, six out of eight. So we get six cows in one. We should have about seven, eight cows in another. And there we go. Now these cattle ranches are working our way up. And in fact, I wonder if I can empty this one out. Turn this into more sheep. That's what I want. We'll empty out all these cows. We'll turn this one into sheep. And that'll give me all my cattle over here on these three big farms. And then we'll have... Let's see, we need one more farmer. Okay. We're at 39 extra laborers. I mean, we are 60,000 food, 39 extra laborers. Firewood is the only thing that seems to be concerning me. Um, this one can also be cattle. Two more ranchers and... Let's see how we're doing on both of these guys. We can split this one, and these guys can all run into this field here. So there we go. Lots and lots of cattle. Now will be great for meat. And go ahead and get two more, two or three more houses over here. I'm, I'm not one that's shy on houses, but we need to kind of control our pop. So we're not going over the overkill. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Our little forested area looks great down here. Got some deer still kicking it within the area. No, like all my deer went away. Should be a couple deer in the area. Man, oh man, okay. Well, it seems like we're still getting hide, regardless, because I'm not, you know, I'm not seeing 
these guys out of material for for my tailors and stuff. So they're getting they're getting materials. Not sure where, but they're getting it. Oh, they might be getting hide from the cows. Oh oh oh, that's right. Cattle does provide hide. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Up. Okay, that makes sense to me then. Yep. Yep. Perfect sense. Okay, so we can, uh, let's see. Yeah, look at that. The city is awesome! Nomads have arrived at the town hall. Woo! I don't think I'm ready for you guys yet. I mean, I should, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready for you guys. I still have a lot of, a lot of other stuff I gotta do here. You can definitely increase my building force by a bit. How many? How many nomads? That's that's the question. Forty. Oh, I don't think we're gonna run out of food. I think firewood's gonna be the. Uh, well, let's let's allow them. This is <laughs> this is gonna get crazy, folks. It's gonna get crazy. Okay. So then let's uh, let's go ahead and make our naturalized area up here because this is one that I have wanted to do for a little bit. And that is getting. Uh, Forester Lodge. In this area, and another one, like as far over. Okay, and something happened. The nomads brought in disease. They brought the gonoherpa syphilid. Somebody has it. An outbreak has occurred. Who has it? Oh god. Who's dying? Who's sick? I'm gonna go straight from those nomads, man. Sick. Unmedicated, uneducated, and disgusting people. Where? Where is it? I don't see them anywhere. Oh, lordy. Oh, there it is! Ah, oh, you! Lutheran! You're disgusting! You're disgusting! Okay. So, oh, let's see if we have... A, I have pear seeds, I know that. Do I have bean seeds? I'm pretty sure I do. Well, let's look again. Yep, I do. Okay, get out of here. Be gone with you. Nothing needed, yeah. Okay, let's bump it back up to 10. I know, we have an outbreak, blah, blah, blah. I have hospitals everywhere. So if someone does not get to the hospital and they die of it, then it's because they're stupid. It's because they're stupid in the face. Stupid in the head. Let's see, hospital. I want that just alongside of this guy. And whap right there. Boonda boonda ba ba boonda ba boonda ba boonda ba ba. Get houses set up for these these guys up here. And then I want a uh, hunting cabin. Definitely right, right here because of the fact that deer are coming right out of this area and the gatherers hut for some some herbs. Okay, and that'll be be a good little, little supply area there. And then we want something else. What do we want? We do some orchards right here to kind of make it look a little more natural. Eight by eight. Can't do anything there. So we do two. Four. Let's see. Two, four. Six. Can I fill this area up with a big old orchard? That'll probably be good. Right there. Six, seven. So we're gonna need seven more farmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once that's all done, need another woodcutter. Okay. Can actually. Traders were good. Roosters were good. So got twelve people with the sickness, unfortunately. But. They done it! They done it to themselves! Can't blame them now. Okay, we 
can do some farms all the way up there, which will be, should be good. Or chicken pastures, you know, chickens are good. Chickens are good to have, so maybe some, some pastures with some chickens. Get those chickens maximized. Chicklets. Chicklets. Okay, and all these homes are done. Not farmers and students, but farmers and students. We can get our mining back up to max capacity. You get 20 people right in there, and we still have 28 laborers to spare. 28 buildings. That's insane to me, man. I don't think I've ever had this many. How many people do we actually have? Blap! Blap! How many people? We are at 702. We're almost halfway there. That's crazy. I mean, it took like 10 episodes to get to freaking like 300 people. And now, you know, I went from 500 to 702. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. I think as long as I can keep the firewood under control, then we are doing just fine. What I should do is actually increase the amount of... Well, God, I can't increase the amount of firewood like the fire cutter choppers. Maybe if I put another one like right here next to that, that'll kind of help. Because that is a big old pile of wood and having a uh, wood cutter right there would be, would be helpful. So we got some new stuff. Oh, pepper and squash. I have both of you. So you get out of here. Speaking of pepper, I do want to make a nice pepper field right here. We'll just at least get it lined out. Bunch of eight by eights. Can I do three? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, so many fields, so many fields of the pepper. Let's see, and I had wheat fields over there. I need bean fields. No, 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 no. Let's cancel this guy. Let's do. That was a seven by eight. That was my bad. Getting a little excited, showing down stuff without thinking. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at all these. Peppers, I can imagine it now. So much food. I do not think food's gonna be an issue, and I like to stay right on top of the food control. Boom, baby. Boom, 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 baby. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, baby. Um, with how well we're doing in this whole department, I would like to see if I can get another raid dock or two in here because of the fact that it increases my chances of and they're gonna line up man this is gonna look like a port it looks so good get some houses right in there oh my gosh this is like it's like a dream come true oh baby boon day ba woo I'm pretty excited about this <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 people. So we need 18 more farmers. Well, let's get these ones because these orchards need to actually have a purpose. Oh, we lost an herbalist for some reason. Do I have too many? Oh, seven herbalists. What happened? Oh, this one has two in it. That's why. Okay, we can drop that. Whoop. Woodcutters up to eight. Seven herbalists. Six herbalists there. Uh, drop that down. We should have two more hunters. So my hunters, 16. This Forester Lodge, I want to keep it. Well, we're just going to bump those guys all the way up so they're maxed out. Want more Foresters. Get all these cherries. Okay. That feels looking good. Man, look at that. Okay, so let's get this orchard that we started up here done. Because that was one thing is we had these orchards going. And um, let's go with... Uh, let's go with pecan on these guys. Pecan orchard. So that is one. 
type of food we do not yet have become and this can go back down to one and that can also be pecan cool and then I have a barn I will want a barn a little bit closer to all this stuff here so let's look at me putting a barn back here looks good do I need another stockpile nearby I might because this is a woodcutter's or this is a uh, I have another barn right here in the corner, and then we'll do another stockpile next to that. Why I do stockpiles next to the barns, I don't know. It just feels right. Okay, go with what your heart tells you to, and my heart tells me to make um, woodcutters and, and barns and stockpiles all next to each other. Who knew? You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> okay. Looks great. Good deal, good deal. That looks good. I think we are doing a fantastic job. Let's see how our stone cutters are doing on these mines. We are at 23%, 32%. So we're going to want to spread that uh, gain out here a little bit. But before we do that, we're going to do these 18, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 18, 18 new fields with a lot of new farmers coming in. Um, and this is all going to be pepper fields. So let's go ahead and get that done. We are in the winter, so we're okay right now. Drop that. Dropping them all to one, and then we'll just... Turn them into pepper fields and they will go nuts. Okay, got that. So, pepper it is. Peppers, 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 peppers. Lots and lots of, lots of peppers, 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 peppers. Lots and lots and lots of peppers. Here we are. We're getting ready to start early spring. Get all these fields going, man. Ooh! Time's moving too fast for me. I'm not fast enough. Oh. Okay, and pepper. Last one. There we go. Let these guys go crazy. We need a barn, a storage barn here, too as well um, let's do a storage barn there and then a stockpile to fill this space and we want more homes can't really do much on that one there looks good yeah yeah talking about yeah all right i think we have done it look at all these cows man that's crazy look at we got some sheep oh wait i haven't even split the sheep yet that field is doing nothing let's split those guys this one's gonna be sheep well but that is gonna be all the time we have for this episode so thank you guys for tuning in if you like what you saw go ahead and subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next one while we continue our epic journey towards the 2000 people bye bye